everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Last year for American Thanksgiving, I showed you how to make a turkey cake. So this year, I had to top that, and I'm showing you how to make a ham made completely out of cake. It looks just like the real thing, and it's going to impress people for Thanksgiving, and you could even use it as a Christmas dessert. Let's get started on this tutorial. We're going to be needing a number of different colors of buttercream. So we have green here, we kind of have a pinky hue, and we have a little bit lighter, kind of a skin tone, and a slightly darker one here. So these are just based off of the colors that I saw in an actual ham. And we're going to be needing some cloves. If you don't like cloves, this is just an extra step. You could make them out of fondant if you wanted to. We need a variety of like little candies that would be carrots and peas and a cherry and some lemon. This is gonna be the garnish to the ham. We're going to need some regular vanilla buttercream, some yellow fondant, a lot of this brown fondant, and then for the actual cake, we have a six inch round um, ball pan cake here and a six inch round regular cake. So I have my two cakes here and I've leveled them both off with a serrated knife. Now I wanna make sure that I keep this part because I may be using it, I'm out, I'll be using one for sure and I might be using two later on. So all I'm going to do now that they are leveled is I'm going to put some buttercream in between this is gonna be like the glue that kind of holds the ham together and you can put it on liberally. And then I'm going to just flip the round one on top here. Now, because I want it to sit flat on the plate, I'm just going to use a sharp serrated knife. I'm just going to kind of like skim off a tiny little bit like this, cause this flat part will be able to sit flush on the cake and it won't, or on the plate and it won't roll around. So now I temporarily have the cake on a cake plate and I'm going to cover the whole entire thing now in this buttercream. The cool thing about this cake is that you can use any flavor of cake that you actually want to and any flavor of buttercream because we're going to cover it all in fondant so it totally doesn't matter what colors are underneath here. So I'm going to finish off this and then I'll show you the next step. With my cake covered in buttercream, I am prepping my fondant. So what I'm doing is I'm just rolling it out and I am getting it to be a diameter of 15 inches. And once I've got it that wide, then I will show you how to cover the cake. So I have my fondant rolled out here and I've got my cake ready to go. So I'm just going to carefully pick up my fondant and I'm going to drape it over the cake and then I'm going to trim it and I'm just going to, I'm gonna um, cut this part off the front and I'm just going to work the back part here. And once I've got it all down, I'll show you the finished fondant covering. With our ham covered with the fondant, I'm going to just take like, you could use a regular knife. This is just like a pastry cutter and I'm just going to slice around here. So I'm just using that and I'm trimming um, fairly I don't know, I'm leaving about half an inch or a centimeter there. And I'm going to take this part and you want to save some for the extra slice of ham. So make sure you just put that off to the side. And then to get the front part off here, I'm just going to use like an X-Acto knife and I'm going to really roughly to start. And then I'll do like more fine work uh, with the X-Acto afterwards. And so I'm just getting this part off the front here because we're going to be covering it in a different color of buttercream. Now that we've got it covered in the fondant, I'm just gonna take a ruler and just gently press in like little guide marks and I'm gonna go over top of them. Like this is just kind of those grill marks that they get on the ham. And I'm just gonna go over top here with like a veining tool just to give it a little bit more impression. So I'm gonna go both ways and do this all over the cake. Now we're going to take a paintbrush and some water, and this is just going to give the ham that glazed look. So I'm gonna go over the whole thing with water like this, and then I'm going to put in the middle of each of these little um, segments, I'm going to put a clove like this and just kind of poke it in there like that in each of the little segments. Using the medium tinged buttercream, I'm going to cover up the white portion. Now, if you get a little bit of the white mixed in, that is no big deal at all because we're going to be adding in the little bit of lighter pink and the darker pink. So the more kind of color mixture, the better. 
So now that we have the base color on, we're going to add a little bit of the other shades. Now I'm just going to do it like kind of sporadically. And if you actually look like at, at a real ham, you'll see like that there's lots of different colors. And so I'm just going to kind of spread them out and then I'm going to work on them afterwards more with like a paintbrush and I'll show you that too. So on my ham that I bought at the store, I just noticed that there was different shades here. And so I'm just going to blend them in. And then even if you want to, you can add like a little, um, like a bone, white bone center in there if that, if you're so inclined. So I'm just going to work my artistic magic here and I'm going to finish this part off. With the cake mostly finished, we're going to move on to some of the extras and the garnishes. So what I have here is some rolled out white or yellow fondant. And I'm taking my three and a half inch round cutter and I'm just going to cut this. Then it's just going to be a round piece of, of um, pineapple. So just work that out there. And then using a one and a half inch round cutter, I'm just going to cut the center out and pop that out. Now to give it a little bit of dimension, I'm just going to score it all the way around like this using the X-Acto knife. And then I'm going to set it on top of the cake. Now we're going to work on the piece of ham that's going to sit on the platter in front of the big ham. And I'm just going to take a serrated knife and kind of remove most of these slanted pieces here, just like this. And it doesn't matter if you've got like little edges because we're going to wrap a piece of the brown fondant around it. And I'm just going to cover that now in our base pink. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with the actual ham, where I'm going to mix in the different colors of all of these pinks. I've got my ham slice covered. Now I'm going to add the brown fondant around the outside. So I just got a skinny piece here and I'm just going to wrap it around just like that. So I have a serving platter here because I want the ham to look realistic. Now you could use a regular cake board if you don't have one. And I have on my green buttercream tip here is 125 and it is a petal tip. It's a really large one. So you can pretty much do this however you want to. I'm just going to like kind of pep pipe here just as if there was like lettuce leaves or like some kale or something garnishing the plate here. So I'm just going to go around and kind of just fill this all in and then I will show you what to do, how to plate the actual ham. So using a large cake spatula, I've just got it slid underneath the cake here. I'm just going to gently pick it up and then transfer it over here to the cake plate. I'll do the exact same thing with the, um, the slice of ham. I'm just sliding that off just like that. To finish off our cake, we're going to add some colorful candy vegetables and I've got a candy cherry here to put on top in between the pineapple there and then I've got some candied lemon to put on and some little carrots and right beside the carrots we can put a bunch of little peas well, these little peas are skittles and the carrot is Mike and Ike and then just for some color you can add a little bit of red so I'm going to do a couple more garnishes and then I will be back to show you the finished product. So there you go everybody, how to make a ham cake. Now I went around the outside and I finished off the garnishes and it looks absolutely spectacular. I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Food Imposters. It was super fun to make for you. Thank you for sharing this video with all your friends who you think might be impressed by it as well. So I will see you guys all again next time and remember to subscribe to the channel.